Hi, this is Scott from Spectre Gear, and we're back once again with another sling installation instruction video. And for today, what we're going to be talking about is working with the stirrup type rear adapters that are provided for our slings made for conventional fixed stock weapons. Now, in this case, what I'm using as a simulator is an AR 15 M16 pattern stock, but the Installation instructions I'm going to give you today are common across a wide variety of weapon systems, including the Ruger Mini 14, Mini 30, the M14, M1A type weapons, FNFALs, AK 47s with fixed stocks, shotguns with conventional fixed stocks, because they all have this same type of rear adapter. And, and again, it's called a stirrup rear adapter. We have a number of different variations of this rear adapter, and while they may differ in terms of their dimension, or even the materials used to construct them, they all attach exactly the same way. Um, but they only differ in, in terms of the length of the main strap, the length of the cross strap, or whether or not they're made from inch and a quarter wide sling webbing or one inch wide PALS webbing, but all attach the same way. So the way this works is we have a main strap that wraps around the stock towards the front, and we have a cross strap that actually traps the adapter in place at the base of the stock or at the butt pad of the stock. So it has kind of an isometric push-pull tension that holds everything in place. Now it's all dependent on this angle right here to keep the adapter from sliding forward and of course the cross strap keeps the adapter from sliding or rather to the rear and keep the cross strap keeps the adapter from sliding forward. Sorry, I hope, I hope that didn't confuse you. But uh, it's a fairly simple uh, design. We've been using these for many, 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 many years going all the way back 23, 24 years ago. We had our first design of this type out. Um, so attaching them is fairly straightforward. But before I get to that, let me talk about switching it from right handed to left handed application because this is a, an ambidextrous rear adapter. Once it's attached, you will end up having a loop on both the left and right hand side of the gun so that you can use um, the sling for a right handed or left handed shooter application. Now in standard configuration, uh, as they're shipped from the factory, they come in right handed shooter configuration. But if you're a left handed person, in most cases, all you're going to have to do is undo this one inch attachment strap here and just simply attach it to the loop on the other side. It's as simple as that to switch from one side to the other. Just be sure to remember that when you um, reattach on the other side that you double the tip of the the webbing back through the triglide to lock it in place so it's not going to let go on you and it'll stay there until you physically undo it later. Um, so switching from left to or right to left handed is uh, is a fairly simple process, fairly straightforward. Now we do have a couple of sling designs where it does require you to take the sling apart to a certain extent to switch it to the other side and for that we have specific videos showing you how to how to do that. So let's talk about how to put this on a weapon. Again it's super simple so all we're going to do is just undo the velcro. We're going to slide the main strap out but not all the way out from the, the, the loop at the top. We just want to make an opening large enough so that we can insert the toe of the stock into this opening and rest it against the bottom. So um, I'm trying to do this. It's, it's a little different from how I normally do it, but it is fairly easy. So we're going to uh, get everything lined up where we want it and pull this tight. And I'm going to, because I'm doing it kind of in the blind because of the, the camera being in the way, secure it on the other side. Now, from there, you're going to want to go and maybe snug it up a little bit more, square up the Velcro somewhat. So I've got everything pretty much where I want it. We'll switch it to the other side, and voila, there you go. Now, some things you might want to, uh, or you might run into, is with the M16 series of weapons, the rear sling swivel is far enough back that the rear adapter doesn't get in the way, or rather the other way around, the swivel doesn't get in the way of the rear adapter. But you may find some um, configurations that might have either a sling swivel or a stud threaded into the bottom of the stock, and you're unable to get the adapter to fit over that. It's, it's dead in the center, or, or it's, it's going to be a problem attaching it. In those cases, and, and we 
do mention this in the in the the uh, sales literature on the site, it may require removing the swivel or the stud from the bottom of the stock. That is something you may have to do. It's a fairly simple process and it's easy to restore it back to its original configuration and any resulting hole will be uh, covered by the adapter itself. So that may be something you might have to do, so be prepared for that. But aside from that, that's really as, as simple as it gets. So that is how to attach a stirrup type rear adapter to a conventional fixed stock gun. So uh, if you have any further questions, please contact us at SpectreGear.com. But with that, I will thank you for watching and listening. Have a wonderful day. This is Scott of Spectre Gear. Take it easy.